Hey, how are you? Hey, Sheikh Mohammed, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? Hey, you are fine. How's that? I'm fine. Yes, I'm fine. Hmm. Last time we have talked together, you have um, given me a exercise. I would, uh, I would. I give, yes. I give an exercise. Yes, to read uh, that and that hadith. Okay. <clears throat> And? Because uh, there are some hadith that I don't know, hmm. and I have um, read them, All right. and I found a few, hmm. not only a few, a bunch of hadiths and things that okay. I that I don't searched, that I don't searched, and I asked myself. Um, <laughs> Oh, Why they have written such embarrassing stuff? stuff? I don't understand it really. Yeah. Why they have read? Why they have written such stuff? Okay. So and then I had, and then I had searched for many more things, and I have um, a question which is important. Hmm. You are a Christian. Yeah. Which one of the Christians is the truth one? Because of the Catholics. Hmm. They are praying um, also to Maria hmm. and statues, statues and things like that. Hmm. They are uh, like um, the old Jews who have celebrated a cow and things like that. And hmm. which one of the Christians are the right Christians? I don't understand that. Hmm. Okay. We can I answer you now? Yes. Well, you know, there's, not, there's nothing is called which one of them is right and which one of them is wrong. The one is right is right. Doesn't matter which which one. Which mean uh, if a church teaching something against the Bible, it is against the Bible, and that will make it wrong. But doesn't mean they make them wrong in everything. Uh, as an example, you mentioned that uh, Catholic they uh, pray uh, in front of a statues. That is absolutely wrong. But but the Catholic don't pray to Mary. That's not true. You see, when the uh, when What's the when, no when the Catholic the, the Rosary is not praying to Mary, the Rosary is asking Mary to pray for them. So this is not uh, accurate. You know, when people they say that to you, they are not being truthful. Uh, same time, uh, if I do something wrong, still I am a Christian because this is what Christianity is exists for for. Because we are wrong, Jesus came not because we are right. If everybody is right, then there is no need for Jesus to come. So Jesus, right, yeah. so Jesus did not come because we are right. Jesus came because all of us, we are wrong. So yes. if somebody is doing a wrong practice, that does not make Christianity wrong. That make the practice That's, wrong. It, you know, it, it feels, it seems to me like uh, some of the Christians are believing wrong. Well, you know, when you practice something wrong, obviously you believe in it, right? But that at the end of the day, uh, the one who is doing that wrong, is he doing something really, I mean, let us say, he believe in Jesus as God, he believe in the crucifixion, he believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. This is Christianity. The rest, yes. the rest is it mostly is a tradition. It's not really a belief because we don't find a base for it in any book. You know, even the Bible says, okay. don't make images for what is up in heaven or down in yes. earth. OK, so the Bible forbid us from even making images is for the purpose of worship. So if somebody make those images for the purpose of worship, that is absolutely wrong. So this is his yes. wrong. This is not Christianity being wrong. But doesn't mean that those people, they are not Christians. No, they are. But they practice something wrong. And there is not a single person in this earth don't practice something wrong. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, because this is our nature. But, but we are wrong. Where but, I, but in the but same time, how, but in, in the same time, hold how on. I can know which is right. Very easy. The Bible is there. Whatever Jesus said is what is right. Very easy. You know, even and which one I can. There's, there's nothing. Is, there's nothing is called I, which one. There's nothing is called which one. The if, Bible is the Bible. There's nothing is which one. We have many translations, yes, but the Bible is one yes. book. It, the translation can but you be have different. You have to have a community. You you know what I mean? No. Which community is the right one? No, my community is Jesus, not the community. The community needs Jesus, not Jesus needs the community. So if you follow, you follow Jesus. You don't follow a community. We are not a tradition. We are not a tribe. We are not uh, an, a corporation. We are not an organization. All of us, we belong to one Lord. His name is the Messiah. So if you are looking for community, you are wrong because all community in the world are wrong. 
This is why we have sin everywhere. This is why we have crimes everywhere. So uh, you, will, you will find even a priest is a child molester like Muhammad. Correct? Okay. Yes. So how he can be a priest and a child molester? Because simply uh, Satan is exist everywhere. The Lord, he says, be aware of false teachers. They will come to you in a close of a sheep, but they are wolves. So always those who they are trying to make you go in the wrong, they dress as sheep they don't come to you usually as a wolf because if they come to you as a wolf you will shoot them right so what they will do they will dress as a sheep so you will think they are a sheep then you trust them and then you enter the, they make them enter your house so yes. you as a as a person who's asking questions you do not need to trust christian prince in order to know christianity you need to trust only one person his name is jesus because who said that me myself i'm not a sinner but how can i ask I don't get an answer. No, you don't. And the problem with no. uh, the problem with my thing believing system, I uh, I have think uh, a lot of them for the last days, and I thought since I was a kid, I have learned everything I know from my grandmother, from my grandmother, from my granddad, and then uh, from from imams in mosques and stuff like that. But they never showed me such stuff, and then I. Uh, I, I I don't want to believe in it mm. and I saw more and more and more and then I asked myself why they are not um, showing that to me I thought uh, till the day to the uh, till since a few for a week ago I thought my believing way is right because I am don't uh, not a liar I am follow things straight on the things that I know but did this uh, things I don't know any anything about it and then I have seen it and I asked myself why never uh, imam, imam have showed me them or stuff like that mm. so you know Muhammad you know are you telling me you are thinking to leave Islam I don't know, really. I don't know, but I, but I, there's an emotion in me, and it says to me, maybe it's fault. Maybe, okay. How how maybe I how I, how I can help you to confirm that it is not maybe it is for sure called. Let me ask you. I don't know. Okay. I don't know how you can help me. Okay. I want to. I want this only to know from you because of um, this. Because many of the, the Christians are worshipping statues and things like that. No, no, no. There's and not, I ask there's myself. Not a single, no, no, uh, Muhammad. There's not a single Christian, even the Catholic. I, I know, I know one thing for real. I know only worship. one thing for real, hmm. Christian. Mm -hmm. I, know, I know only one thing for hmm. real. Mm -hmm. That Jesus, Isa, is more... Um, I don't want to say holy or stuff like that, but he don't lived. He lived a life without sin, with miracles, no war, never killed a person, never do a sin. Mm -hmm. And I, I think he's a good person mm -hmm. who can um, that uh, to follow is right. To mm -hmm. follow such a person, it was uh, very right. It was nothing wrong with that. Okay, sure. That's what I know for sure. That's only the ones I know for sure is that. Okay. But you see, you have a wrong information about Christians. I just told you that people they do wrong doesn't mean they are worshipping and statues. If somebody, let us say, somebody praying in front of a picture, if he believe that this that picture is God, then he is worshipping that picture. You know what I mean? If he pray in front of a statue, let us say, and he believe that a statue is God, then that make him for sure a pagan and he have nothing to do with Christianity. But if somebody, I'm not trying to defend them, by the way, I believe this is all wrong, but I'm explaining to you why they do. Not because they believe that is God, they, they feel, you know, so some people, they, they carry something from previous, uh, you know, many they converted to Christianity and they carry from them from the previous pagan practice, some pagan practice. So we do not need the statues, and the statues have nothing to do with God. This is Christianity. But as a as long a person who don't believe that the statue is God, that does not make him 
really worshipping a status because he is not praying to the status really because he knew that this is just a status you hit it by a hammer you can break it if but if you say this then then you, you why are you talking um, negative uh, about the Kaaba oh this is different because Jesus never said to us to do why me. this is different hold on it's different because Muhammad is the one who was kissing the black stone so if Jesus was praying in front of his statues then I would say I cannot blame the Christians who do wrong you know practice because it's Jesus who told them but Jesus never said that right but Muhammad is the one who kissed the black stone correct yes but he don't know the stone is God doesn't matter you see he is kissing it actually this is more even more ugly because there's no reason uh, a, a person who somebody make a status let's say for Mary and he's asking Mary to pray for him he's not even praying to to, uh, to Mary he's asking Mary to pray for him uh, that is you know this is very wrong and have nothing to do with the Christianity but he is not following God by practicing that but when a Muhammad he do kiss the stone and there's no explanation you ask all Muslims why, why Muhammad kiss the stone can you tell me because the people um, earlier days have done it no so you follow people you are a prophet of God you, you brought monotheism the people before they did that because they are pagan Arab supposedly and now supposedly you are a but person the Christianity who... but but the Christianity has have also took um, some things from the old uh, from their old days from the previous days like what? and took the stamp of Christianity on it like what like um, like um, how they call it in Christianity with water to put a man down in water and then he is a Christian baptism right baptism yes no we see we, that, we, we that was not... a written before the Christianity that, that was there was written where that was before Christianity okay where where you can read it too you are okay. you my, are well known with this you topic. know, you know it. no I you know I see uh, obviously you do not know what Christianity is Christianity is not when Jesus came Christianity is from the time of Adam because all the purpose of mankind is to believe in Jesus so all mankind they are waiting for Christ to come and Christ he came so Christianity is exists from the beginning so if Adam was a person who spoke to God and God spoke to him then God he gave Adam rules and those rules you know we don't have full details of them but we have a simple story about God told him not to do that which is supposed to eat him from the tree but I believe the story is more complicated than just a tree because in, do you think really God he cared for a tree no God he cared no. for being obedience or not so Adam he disobeyed so obviously God he gave Adam order and then Adam when he came to this earth he told his children about God. They don't. They are not ignorant. So knowing the true God is exists from the first man, not by when when Jesus came as a human. Yes. From the first man, they knew about God, and God gave them rules, and God gave them knowledge, and God told them, and God sent messengers, and all those messengers is to prepare for Jesus. So for you, you might think, okay, or well, the baptism is must be you know. If if we read the Bible, actually, you will see that John the Baptist. That's why they call him John the Baptist, right? Jesus never wanted someone to baptize other peoples. No, he never he, wanted stuff no, like that. No, no, no. He himself he got baptized. Don't they say things without knowledge. So Jesus himself, that, he got, uh, Jesus, Jesus himself, as the, as the baptized himself, uh, only stands stands in the thing, uh, in the in the thing, how they call it, um, brief letter. Which letter is the one? What is that? I, I have. I understand. So, I, don't, I, I have. I don't understand what you're huh? saying. What letter? I have read a lot of about that and watched a, a lot of videos uh, about uh, that. Uh, uh, and uh, Jesus uh, himself Muhammad, doesn't Muhammad. want it as anybody else to, to baptize people. When somebody says to you something, give it to me to show you that this is false. This is not true. You, you know, the Bible says, go and teach and uh, in the Hebrew and letter, baptism, in the Hebrew in letter. baptism in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Now, listen. In the Hebrew letter. In the no. Hebrew letter, it oh, says... No, no. Uh, the, in the Hebrew letters, all the disciples of Jesus, they speak about baptism, baptism, baptism. If we go right now to the to any website have the Bible translation just type the word baptism you will see it all over so this is a false yes, argument yeah. the disciples have uh, baptized but not himself what do you mean he's not himself not he say not by himself he do, he doesn't this, baptize this why, people this is why he no he you know he did simply you see uh, you see the baptism he, he did oh, it oh, he did on. it but not with water he did it with what 
Not with water. With what? With Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. The, 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 the baptism is the Holy Spirit baptism. The water is symbolic how you are washing yourself from previous belief, pagan belief. For example, John has baptized with water and Jesus has baptized with Holy Ghost and his disciples have baptized it, with water okay, too. Okay, hold on, hold on. See, Jesus himself, when he got the, the baptism, is an additional, additional uh, let us say, a signal or a message for those who they are following him, the disciple, and everybody is watching, that he is the one people are watching for. This is why when the baptism happened, uh, a voice came from from heaven saying, uh, "This is my only begotten Son." Right. So this is this is this is just not this is not a baptism really as much as a confirmation that this is the Messiah, people they are waiting for. Same time, Jesus Himself when He did baptize, He's saying us that you need to be baptized too, as to be a newborn again, which means you as a person who has became a following Christ in order to receive the Holy Spirit. You know, you have mm -hmm. to do baptism. And the baptism is not about the water. The baptism is about yes. you confirming, announcing yourself as a Christian. And by doing that and washing all your pre pre you know, previous uh, uh, belief, that will make you a new person. This is why we Christians, we believe in you like a born again. And I'm sure you heard it uh, many times from Christians. Yeah. Born again yes. Christian. Born again Christian is not a Protestant, is not a Catholic is not orthodox, is anyone who accepts Jesus as his savior and he decides to start a new life because you are born as a baby, maybe from a Muslim family like you, maybe from doesn't a Christian need family. Water or something yeah, like but that. Does, but doesn't you, you have only to say it. No, 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 you see, you, you know, this is your opinion, but I can show you an example that it's not what make you save is the baptism by the water. As an example, uh, when there is, was a person next to Jesus in the cross. Yes. And then he said he believed in Jesus, and Jesus he promised him to go to heaven. This guy he did not yes, do baptism. Yes, I know this. I have read okay. this. Okay, okay. This this guy he did not get baptism. This guy he did not yes. go in the water. He just said, "I believe in you." Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. But mm -hmm. this is for a person who have no choice to be baptized. This person is dying yes. in the cross. So when we say yes. baptism is necessarily baptism is because Jesus he told us that you announce yourself. The one who deny me, I deny him. That's what Jesus said. The one who deny me, yeah. okay, I deny him. So yes. the baptism yes. is like announcement that I don't deny Jesus and I'm willing to take the risk. Even if he kill me, I'm not going to say Jesus is not my God. So by, by, yes. by doing such an act, you are receiving the gift of God that you became his child. But doesn't mean that you cannot receive it. Let's say you live in Saudi Arabia, and there is nobody to do baptism for you. So, mm -hmm. and you you accepted Jesus, and I have many of them, tons of them who accepted Jesus, and they live in Islamic countries, and there's nobody there to baptize them. What, that they will die and they are not believers? No, they will die as a believers. But if you get a chance to be baptized, then you should do, do the baptism. And the baptism is, uh, 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 let us say, is an act of worship to Christ too. Why? Because uh, uh, when I, when when I say I am I am a Christian, and uh, a Christian mean uh, following Christ, correct? Yes. Okay. Christ Himself get baptized. So should I baptize too? Absolutely. Christ He baptized to confirm to us that He is the Christ, which He is, which the whole world is waiting for Him. And even the one who baptized Him, He announced that. And even the, the, the heaven announced John. that. Yeah. John has baptized him. Yes. yes, yes. But as you see, John, before Christ, as you said, he was baptizing. This is why he's called John the Baptist. The, 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 you know, the Baptist. So, uh, but doesn't mean that John, he was a pagan. John is a, a person, he's a great prophet of God. The same God, right? So, uh, uh, when, when somebody to, uh, say to you that baptism is something... Uh, you know, is, is kind of a tradition, is etc. You can they can say that as they wish, but for us, it's something more than a, a tradition. Is something spiritual. It is something unique. It is something I believe is beautiful too, because you know there is a there is a point in life when you change direction, and that point is a is going to be a point of history for you. Maybe it means nothing for somebody else, but for you, yes. it's a point of history. Your life changed. And this is exactly what the baptism is. You know, you switch. But your... you, do, you don't have to. 
I understand it right, it's, but you don't. Not, doesn't Muhammad, Muhammad, need Muhammad, to. Muhammad, Muhammad. It's not up to you to say you don't have to. You have to. You know, it's not up to you. If you want to follow Christianity, yes. this is what Jesus did, and so you do what Jesus did. If you don't, if you don't accept, then you don't have to be a Christian too. It's not up to you to decide what is what is a Christianity or is not. As I just gave you an example of a man who was dying on the cross next to Jesus. He was saved without being baptized, but he was on the cross. So if your scenario is the same as that person and you believe in Jesus, you are saved. Okay. So now if you are a person who believe in Jesus and you have a chance to baptize, give me a reason why not to do it. If Jesus did it, mm -hmm. Jesus, he fast. Well, do God need to fast? No, but he fast. So we no. fast. So that means fasting is something good. Fasting is something very, very unique. Fasting is you fighting your temptation, your, your, you know, your, uh, 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 all the things around you. So Jesus himself, he fast. So for sure, you cannot fast like him. You know, you cannot fast for forty days without food and water. Nobody can do that. But you can yeah. fast still, and you can practice a human being fasting, a normal human being fasting. So you can fight your struggle. But it's not fasting will save you. Fasting yes. will help you to be saved from temptation and etc. Control yourself. It's a it's a it's a training of self control. Same time, it's you uh, 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 like uh, refusing everything around you to disturb you from being with God. So everything have a reason, and if you don't want to accept those reasons, then don't accept Christianity. You know, we are not the same as Muslims. They practice hypocrisy. When they want, it's okay. When they want, it's not okay. As an example, yes, no. uh, you know, uh, for, no, no. for no occasion is haram, right? But then we, we do muta, right? Mm -hmm. Or we do the wajil monsieur, or we do the wajil friend, you know, marry a friend. You know, you go one night in the hotel once a week or twice a, a, a month, and that's supposed to his marriage. So, you know, the, the, the Islam is a religion of tricks, not religion really of rules because all the rules why have, a, have a trick. Th that's my question can you give me an answer of that why they never told uh, for example to me stuff like that why i have to read it by myself i have learned it by imams and sheikhs since i was a kid since i was five or four years old and never someone t showed me so stuff like that never i have learned it all by heart I can re recite everything by heart, but I don't know about the other things. Why they have never? Okay, I, I, why I will they tell never you, show something uh, like that? I will why? tell you a problem you have. Uh, uh, I have lost. Maybe I have lost thirty years of my life. Maybe. Yeah, Sheikh Ahmed uh, Muhammad. You, you last time when you when Abbas was talking, <laughs> you recite for us some uh, chapters, correct, by heart. Yes. Okay, one of them is about magic. Is it? Magic? Yeah. Which one you, you recited? You mean uh, Nas? Yeah. Close up in Nas? Uh -huh. You mean this? Okay, can you say this chapter for us? Close up in Nas, Malik in Nas, Ila in Nas, Min Sharin Fas Fasil Han Nas, Ela Zi US Fis of his Sudur in Nas, Min Al Jinnatif and Nas. What does that mean? Nothing. Stupid. As they, stupid Quran. As they told it to me, I have to um, pray this one and uh, Falak. Hmm. When I go to sleep and no, no, no. Someone, I'm asking you now what, what does mean? I, no, this is this is another question. What does that mean? Silly, stupid. I mean, how you spend thirty years and you do not ask yourself how stupid this is? is? They have um, teached me w in which situations I have to pray this. They have teached uh, me. This. Okay, no problem. But this is stupid. You know, who is the, what is Waswas and what is Khannas? This is just very stupid. This is silly. And then he says, uh, 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 among the genie, what is the, what is that? You know, so you will find that this is just, just empty words, have nothing, you know, Muhammad is trying to make a rap song, which is very silly. And it's not even to, to be made for kids. So, you know, when you recite it, you say, Qul a'udhu bi rabbi nasi, malikin nasi, ilahi nasi. What is that, malikin nasi? All right, I hope, uh, let us see, guys, you hear me now? Am I heard now? 
All right, I apologize what we can do. We lost our internet and uh, our conversation totally lost. So I had to restart my uh, modem to make it work. Uh, we will try to contact Mr. Muhammad again. Uh, give me a second, please. Please invite your friends here. We go like you know we lost uh, a thousand people, but just because we our connection is gone for a few seconds. All right, I see his. Uh... Okay, look like he is not there right now. Uh, hello. Ah, uh, your your connection is there. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I did recite the chapter. You know, uh, uh, seek refuge by Allah from the waswas, and the internet came back. <laughs> So, I thought maybe that's a sign or something like that. Uh huh, a sign. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's a good one. Really, this can be a big problem for me, you know. Uh, this look, can be a problem. So you for are me. A, you are a superstition person. Like what? Well, you know, you said you are. It's a sign for you. What is the sign that we lost our internet? I don't know. Maybe uh, to cut. Maybe to cut you. I don't know. But he could not cut me. Here we go. I'm. I'm back. I know. So do you think this God Allah? Know, this can be a okay, okay. I, I, I will go with you, Mister Mister Problem. So you think that now Allah He lost the fight because I restarted my modem? No. Yeah, this would happen. I just restarted my modem, and everything is fine. I said to you, start you restart your modem. I said it to you. I know, I know. But if Allah is the one who cut me off, well, I just cut off Allah. Because based on your sure saying, Allah is trying to cut me off, and I now I respond to Allah by cutting him off by re, by restarting the modem. Yes. Why Allah make me, uh, you know, uh, uh, win and he lose then? And I'm getting him busted for tens of years. I mean, that's not ten, not twenty more. So uh, this is how Allah he make war now. He cut my modem. Is Allah the one who made the internet? Okay, I will go with you. Muhammad, he recite this verse, right? Yes. Okay, and then Muhammad, he recite other verse about uh, about magic. Correct? Yes. Okay. Did Muhammad was controlled by magic? I read something like that. What do you mean uh, you read? I think you, for you... three days ago, I have read something like that. Hmm. He was on magic for 40 days, some okay. stuff like so that. So obviously Allah is a is a false God because here we go. Muhammad, he said to you, if you recite this chapter, which is made supposedly to fight magic, black magic, you will not have magic. Muhammad, he says, if you eat seven ajwa, no magic can affect you and no poison can kill you. And he have both. Yes. Okay, so now uh, Muhammad. Is, yes. So now Muhammad was he reciting the Quran? Yes. Every day, correct? Yes. Okay, so every day reciting the Quran did not protect him from black magic. So the yes. Quran cannot stop anything. Allah cannot stop anything. Last In time I case, spoke. Yes. Last time I spoke to a Muslim Sheikh, he said it took Allah twelve months to release Muhammad from the magic. I, I said, why? He said, because Allah, he made for him, uh, sorry, shaitan, he made for him, or the magic, was made in 12 knots. So now you are a person who believe that I can make a knot hmm, for you, and now I can control you from far distance, correct? Yes. Okay. How, how, what do you, what do you think? Is that smart or something stupid? This is way more than this. What more than more this? What? 
I can't say this is smart or stupid or stuff like that because this is real magic and okay, this is why really... Muslim, okay, why, so, okay, hold on. Why people don't control those leaders in the world? I mean, if you can control somebody by a knot, uh, can I control them? Uh, so we can control people then by a knot. So your prophet is a voodoo person. He's a pagan because voodoo is a paganism. You are the one we're talking about paganism and doing not something not having to do with God. So when you do so such a thing, such a practice, obviously you are pagan. Uh, and when Muhammad he says, you, if you read this chapter, then nobody can make a knot for you. So why? How come the, the Jewish guy he made a knot for Muhammad and he controlled him? And always they blame the Jews for anything. I don't know why. No, because obviously this is fiction. This is lie. This guy is a mental ill. He blame everything for the Jews, so he you know he he he's a crazy. So they say he he was bewitched. As simple as that. Who was going? I think who, who that he have diseases. I have to tell it to you from our first uh, talk. Yeah, th this is not a disease. This is uh, can, this the disease is something. And can, because he have sex with uh, yeah, one hundred uh, women. That is a sexual disease. But here we are talking about mental illness. But so it makes you crazy in the head too. I don't know if that will happen from a sexual friend. disease. I am not expert with sexual diseases. So, my friend, what we, what confirmed to us that Muhammad was, according to Muslims, not according to us, he was bewitched, correct? Yes. Okay. So, the man who saw it said to you, if you read Quran, Satan cannot bewitch you. How come the Quran did not work with him and he is the one supposedly protected by his God? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. So, he's a, he's a fraud. And not only that, as long as Muslims agree that Muhammad was deceived, that you see the, the title of our video is uh, who is the one is deceived, Christians or Muslims? The story yeah. in front of us proved that Muhammad was deceived because when you control somebody by a black magic, the Muslim believe in black magic, that means he was deceived. Because what black magic means, you are not in control of what you do and you do wrong things. So. He was deceived, <laughs> according to the Muslims, not according to me. So how the one is under, under the black magic, he is deceived, how he can be the one I trust to guide me? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So Muhammad is false. If you if you come to me with a saying a prayer like this will save you and then you yourself you are under the influence of what you taught me I can be saved from that's mean you are not even praying so there's one of two solution either Muhammad he never read Quran he was a false person because the Quran protect him if he is reading it or Muhammad was reading the Quran and the Quran is a false book and that's why he wasn't protected from the black magic Correct. <clears throat> My mind is flipping around. Well, Muhammad, he said, as an example, Muhammad is a doctor too, and Allah told him medicine. The Muslim, they call it the prophet medicine, Allah medicine. Muhammad, he said, he who eat seven ajwa, seven date fruit, every morning will not be affected and by poison and magic. Okay, but Muhammad, yes, he have both. I know this. Muhammad he died by poison and he was infected by magic. Okay, so how? I know. So his Cutting Quran, his so his Quran is not working. His ajwa is not working, and he is a false teacher. Everything happened is against, you know. Uh, Actually, is against his own teachings. Hmm. Somebody saying in the chat, Christian Prince. Uh, uh, I, I got you wrong for sorry he said Jesus could not be even tempted that's true you see the Muslims sometimes they go and they say that Satan when he come to Jesus he tempt Jesus tempt is an act but are you tempted so Jesus he never been <laughs> under the influence of the temptation here you see Muhammad according to the Muslims and this is his wife saying that the prophet he is imagining things and in fact, he did not. Why? Because he was bewitched. But who will believe in this? If we believe in it, it's a disaster. If we don't believe in it, it's more funny. Because if Muhammad really was bewitched by black magic, 
then he is satanic messenger because as long as shaitan is controlling me I am a, then I will be a messenger for shaitan so Muhammad was speaking for more according to Muslim this has happened for a year so for one yes. year of the life of Muhammad how many verses came from shaitan and how a messenger of God he was under the control of shaitan all this time and Allah did not do anything about it and where is the Quran to protect him So what do you think? If I am you, I will leave Islam right away. You yourself, you say it. There is no one like Jesus. They have no sin. And you know, the second you say that, you accepted him as God. Because every human being do sin. There's no human being, including me, including you, including anyone. Every human being is a sinner, except Jesus. So Jesus, he came in the flesh as a human being, but in fact, he is God in the flesh. And this is why he have no sin. Otherwise, he should have sin like all of us. So yes. if, I, if I am you, if I am you, Sheikh Muhammad, I will accept Jesus right now as we speak, as Lord, as Savior. And obviously, Muhammad, he cannot save himself. Here we go, Shaitan controlling him, and he have no, no, you know, no solution for it. So, do you accept the Lord, the Messiah, as your Savior, Sheikh Muhammad? Uh, he hang up. <clears throat> You hang up. You don't want to see. A moment of a truth. <coughs> Let us call him again. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. What you send me in the in the in the chat? I want people to hear what you said. Hello. You hear me? Hello. Ah, uh, you don't hear me now. Hello. Um, let me call you back. you again it says unavailable uh, no I think you have a bad connection well he is welcome to call Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, Muhammad, I hear you, Sheikh Muhammad, how are you? Yes. So, what, what uh, I, I saw a text from you, I want people to hear yes. what you decide. What you decide? I accept it. I accept what? I accept Jesus as my Savior. I mean to that. Hallelujah. We are so happy to Sheikh Muhammad. He is, a, he is the best Sheikh, and now he is going to be the best Christian. Praise the Lord. I have a real big problem about now. What is your problem? I have to leave this country. You will find your way. Maybe, yes. You will find your way. No problem. You know, always always the Lord, you open doors, my friend. So we are happy for our friend. Please, all of you, put him in your prayer. Our friend, Sheikh Muhammad, he decided to accept Jesus as his Lord and has, as his Savior. And this I is accept it because I know there is there is something who is true about Jesus 
that's the reason because but I don't I asked him I asked for him I asked for him many days many nights but still he don't show himself to me what happened today today yeah well you accepted him today I made a decision today what made you make the decision just because he's good I made this decision because I struggle with myself to believe in, in such a stuff so you know Islam doesn't make any sense Islam is silly Islam is a stupid and now you sense. have an option of Christ which is a very extremely amazing person correct but now I have more problems <laughs> than before no you don't you have zero problem problems no no you see problems they are exist as long as we see them as a problem I find that sometimes problems are the best uh, uh, things happen to us you see everything happened to me in my life which I thought it was a problem it turned to be something good for me you are not in my you are not in my position right now my friend you can you can you can you know if you're uh, being in that country you can leave that country whatever country you are in this is not really this is temporarily problem secondly you know the Lord he says they don't fear those who destroy the body fear those who destroy the soul so your soul is saved and you accepted the Messiah as your Lord as your Savior the second step is read more the gospel get close to the Lord and find your way out of this country because your life is insecure there and you know what things happen for a good reason maybe the Lord he want to send you to a different country so you can be a person a disciple to speak of him to bring more Muslims you see the lady she she called me she was saying about a, a prophet in the in the Bible in the Bible a you you know a you right so a you, this girl is lost yeah but Ayyub, he struggled because he's, because he's a good person. Not like Muhammad. Muhammad struggling from what? Too many women? Too much money? Too much mm -hmm. filth? I mean, this guy is obviously is mentally ill and he is filthy. So, you cannot compare I'm between sorry this for and the that. Black guy. I'm sorry for the black guy who have called you. I'm sorry for him because... He will leave um, Islam, trust me. All of them, they call in the beginning. You see, just... Uh, uh, two months ago, I have a seminar, and all the seminar, all who attend my seminar, they are black people. There's only two white people. All of them, they are either from Nigeria. Most of them, actually, there's Nigeria, there's other, you know, uh, African countries. Uh, but all of them, they were shocked, and they could not believe that this is what Islam is about. I asked one of them, I remember, what do you think about Islam? He says, the good thing about Islam, it teach uh, self-respect. And then after... Yeah, if he, for real, if he has self-respect, then he don't uh, join Islam. No, no, he's, he's Look, not I'm Muslim. Living, he's, he's I'm, not Muslim. I'm, I'm, I'm living here. I have many black people around around me, but they are slaves. Islam make you a slave, even if you are black or white. They are matter. slaves. Yeah, Islam is a religion of slavery. They are real slaves. We are slaves too for Allah, but they are slaves, yeah, for us. Yeah, well, I'm so happy for you, uh, Muhammad. Uh, uh, you know, I ask all the Christians here to pray to our, our brother Muhammad to uh, to know the truth more and to get close to the Lord. And I advise you to read the Bible, the, the Gospel. You can start from the Gospel of John. And uh, read carefully and don't read by your lips, read by your heart. Live the story, don't read the story. We are not Muslims who recite and memorize empty words. The Bible is not Quran. Quran is an empty, false statement, mean nothing. They don't even make sense. The verse before it doesn't make sense with the verse after it, etc. So read from it with your heart. Live the story. Don't read words. Live the words. This is my advice for you. If there is anything you want to say to the to the to the people that are listening to you as a message from you.
Uh, don't make holidays in Syria or stuff like that. Is that what make you go there? You want to do holiday and then you stuck? No, I don't make holiday here. Hmm. I went to Syria because I can live here under Islam, under Islamic law. Hmm. Yes, that's all. All right. Well, my friend, I will I will be happy to receive more calls from you. And if you have Muslim friends, they can call me. It's time for me to go. I'm here for long, and I have some work if to I do. If I tell them that, uh, if I tell them to call you, maybe they kill me. Okay. Well, uh, tell them to call me after you leave the country, not now. All right. Take care. All right. Take care, my friend. God bless you. Thank you. Well, we are happy to our friend Muhammad who decided to leave Islam, and uh, I hope that uh, the lady who she called, I feel sorry for her. She is trying to give all kind of excuses to the false prophet. Nobody can excuse that. How we can even I cannot. You see, I don't want to say. Can I compare between Muhammad and, and Jesus? That is an insult, my lord. That is an insult.